Today, I want to talk about how to do market research in business. Hey everybody, my name is Salem Sunny, and welcome to my YouTube channel where I help individuals such as yourself be more motivated, discover their purpose, and understand that you are God very best. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. Uh, today, I want to talk about how to do market research in business, especially I have a heart for a lot of our African business owners, entrepreneurs, and anybody really who's thinking about business. I'm originally from the Democratic Republic of Congo, so uh, living currently in the United States, having that chance to be able to learn, glean information, work with some top entrepreneurs, understand what they do. There's a couple of things that I've gained along the way and I want to be able to help some of you guys who are trying to do the same. Anybody who is in business, wants to be in business at some point or another is going to try to understand the market in which they are. Because there's so much to cover, I decided to break these how to do market research in five major points. And each of the five major points is going to be its own video because I want to give you guys practical knowledge, maybe, maybe a case study at the end of this to show you, okay, Here's how you can start if you have an idea how you can bring that into fruition by doing the market research. So here are the five points that we want to cover. Number one, we want to talk about competition. I want you guys to understand, okay, who is my competition? We're going to be discussing like some things you have to understand in terms of pricing, understanding your competition. Why is your competition successful? Maybe one are not successful. What are the products that they're providing? Are you doing something similar to them? Whatever. The second thing I'm going to be talking about is product and services. You know, what are you bringing to the market? How is your product or your service different to what the market already possess? How can you position yourself then with this different product or service so that you can get, you know, some form of market share and make some profit from that. We also going to be talking about the cost of doing business. You know, you have to understand what are some of my costs, my expenses while I run this business, you know, whether it is a brick and mortar physical uh, business that you might have, it could be a service that you're providing via online, it could be a digital product that you're providing. So understand what are some of the costs of for you to do business. Well, another thing we're going to be covering beside that is timing. Understanding timing. Are you an early adopter or are you part of the lay majority? Like, and if you're either of the two, how does that affect your customer base, right? How will your customer relate to what you're providing, your service, all that? Understanding the timing is super vital. Are you coming into a market where, you know, people are more looking for your product or service or there's already a lot of provider or the service already prov uh, within the market? Are you going to a place where you're going to be facing some giants already? Part of the competition, right? So understanding these two things is very vital. And lastly, we're going to be talking about profitability. Unless you're trying to run a nonprofit, uh, I understand that most of you guys watching this are trying to make money, you know, trying to make money within your business or the idea that you have. You may have great ideas and visions, right? You know, to try to have an ultimate impact on the world, change people's lives. I understand all that. But for you to remain in business, you have to have some kind of cash flow and money that's coming in. You have to be in a profit. You have to have some revenues and not just revenue, but be in profit. We're going to be talking about that. And within that, we're also going to be talking about scalability can you grow what you're doing did you put it together in a manner where you can outgrow from just maybe a single production or solo entrepreneur to having partners to having employees to having people around you you have to start thinking about that from the onset the more you think about all these five different points when you're doing your research the better it's going to help you there's more than just these five points these five points I think is just important for me to be able to share some of these things with you so that you can have a starting point for you to have a little bit of a check marks along the way as you're doing your research. But yeah, I wanna hit this, I wanna hit this as you go along. Uh, if you're watching this and you have maybe other tips or the things you think we should cover, I would love to hear from you. Leave in the comment section below. I'm always willing to learn. Uh, this is kind of like the game in business, you know, constantly growing. And so I'm excited about that. But anyways, uh, if you found value in this video, uh, subscribe, actually subscribe because you're going to be uh, getting notification of these upcoming videos. It's going to be incredible. Trust me, you don't want to miss out. There's a lot of work and timing and I want to I put into this and I want to give a lot of examples, practical examples, steps you can take, places you can go to gain the information you're looking for. I want to give all this information for free because I actually care and I want to see more success stories. Until then, I'll see you guys next time. Take care.